Hello, coin enthusiasts. Welcome back to Coin As, the channel where we delve into the fascinating world of seemingly ordinary but surprisingly valuable coins. Today, we're exploring the 1985 Jefferson Nichols, including the 1985P and 1985D varieties, along with some intriguing error varieties that you should definitely keep an eye out for. These nickels have unique characteristics and values that make them appealing to collectors. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insights into rare and valuable coins. Now let's dive into the world of the 1985 Jefferson Nichols. The 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel. First up, the 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel, minted in Philadelphia with a total mintage of over 647 million coins. While this substantial mintage means that 1985 P. Nickels are relatively common in circulation, Finding high-grade examples is where the real challenge lies. The 1985P Jefferson Nickel becomes scarce in MS-65 full steps condition and very tough to locate in MS-66 full steps. MS-67 specimens and higher are considered rare. A standout example, designated as Superb Gem Plus and the finest full steps coin at PCGS, showcases pristine satiny luster with greenish gold, champagne, and lilac blue hues and razor sharp central steps. This gem sold for an impressive $9,066 in 2024 at Heritage Auctions. The 1985D Jefferson Nickel at high. Next, we have the 1985D Jefferson Nickel, struck at the Denver Mint. Although its mintage is lower than that of the 1985P, these coins are still readily available in circulation. However, high-grade examples, especially those graded MS-65 or higher, hold more value. A 1985D Jefferson Nickel in such a grade can fetch prices ranging from $5 to $20, making them a valuable addition to any collection. While the 1985 Jefferson Nickels are generally common, some error varieties can pique the interest of collectors. Off-center strikes are another error to look for. These occur when the coin blank is not properly centered in the coining press, resulting in a portion of the design being cut off. The degree of off-centering can vary, with more dramatic examples being more valuable. An off-center strike on a 1985 Jefferson Nickel can range from $10 to $50 or more, depending on the severity and the amount of missing design. Conclusion. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the 1985 Jefferson Nichols. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more numismatic adventures and insights. Happy collecting, and we'll see you next time.